that's not correct. You see, when people, when these politicians are campaigning, mm -hmm. they have uh, manifestos. Uh, people, when you see, when you tell people, I'll build for you houses, I'll create job opportunities, those are politics. Yes. But now when it comes now mm -hmm. to the decision making, making that thing to come into reality, the only way a youth can participate is through public participation. That's where now a common youth is involved in terms of would you agree or not, do you support or not. It means if the government has a project, for example, the housing levy bill, it went to the, it went to parliament. And you see, this government is very wise. This it's not stupid. From what they stand, they know that if we if we go straight away and implement this thing without taking it through the house, it will not go through. So what do we do? Even if we don't give it a full public participation, but we'll pass it through the house. Yes. But how do we involve youths in the decision making? Because when shouting on top of buses while campaigning, that is not an agreement of any sort. Because we are not sure even the people who attended that rally were youths. Maybe you know, they were old women, people are there. So we cannot say that that was an affirmation of an agreement that will give you an will give you job opportunities. And when we, you see, the promises have given. What people need are job opportunities. But before you give me a job opportunity, I'm an engineer. You cannot tell me that I'm going to, to, to for example, I'm a lawyer. You cannot tell me that I'm going, you're, you're creating housing levy to create a job opportunity for me because I am not a contractor. I'm not going to construct the house. How do we deal with the people who are not in the building industry? How do we deal with people who are not in the construction industry? The youths who attended those particular, uh, those particular campaigns when the manufacturers are being launched. It means we must have a sit down with these youths we see. Mm -hmm. Which area do you belong? How do we create job opportunities for you so that we can accommodate you? There is no way that we can create a job without involving you, yes. expecting you to be part of that job, yes. knowing that, that you cannot be absolved in that area because it is not your field. That's it. So the mm -hmm. housing the housing project, mm -hmm. as much as it is elucidated that it's supposed to create a job opportunity for youths, yes. if you give it an EI, it does not create the specific, it does not solve the specific job crisis mm -hmm. that youths need in this country. If, if, you look at the, if you look at the way that it's placed, the, the, the word I wanted a 